Waziri wa elimu Profesa George Magoha amewaonya walimu wakuu wa shule dhidi ya kutumia vibaya pesa za maandalizi ya ufunguzi wa shule. Magoha ametoa onyo hilo alipotangaza kwamba serikali imetenga shilingi bilioni 19 kwa matayarisho ya ufunguzi wa shule wiki ijayo. Akiongea katika shule ya msingi ya mseto ya Obola iliyo katika kaunti ndogo ya Seme katika kaunti ya Kisumu waziri wa elimu George Magoha alisema shilingi bilioni nne zitatolewa kwa mpango wa elimu ya bure ya shule za msingi ilhali shilingi bilioni 15 zitatolewa kwa shule za sekondari The government of the Republic of Kenya shall make sure that the 19 billion shillings that is required for this second term that we are going to start on the 4th is available wakati huo huo alisema mashauri yanaendelea na wizara ya fedha ili kuhakikisha pesa hizo zimetolewa kwa wakati ufao kabla shule kufunguliwa tena we are in the process together with my brother and um, CS Ukuri Atani we are going to leave no stone unturned over 14 billion will go to secondary schools and about 4 billion will go to primary schools please use the money for the purposes for which it is meant this is not the time for anything else we shall follow by doing due diligence huku akionya dhidi ya kuwafukuza wanafunzi kwa kukosa kulipa malimbikizi ya karo magoha aliwahimiza wasimamizi wa shule kushughulikia swala hilo kwa uangalifu ili kuwazuia wazazi wanafiki kutumia vibaya fursa hiyo remember that about 10 to 20% of the children you are sending home by sending them home you are blocking your access to heaven you will not get there you must make sure that you are sending a child home to a home where he will get something am i getting clear here and those there is also another group in between who can afford but the money is not there because they have lost jobs make arrangements with them how they will pay the fee but let the child remain in school Alikariri kwamba madawati nusu milioni yamepelekwa katika shule mbalimbali huku watoto milioni tatu kutoka jamii maskini wakitarajiwa kupewa barakoa bila malipo. Alitoa hakikisho hilo huku baadhi ya viongozi kutoka kaunti ya Kiambu wakidai kwamba shule kadhaa bado hazijatimiza masharti ya kukabiliana na msambao wa COVID-19. We know that the government have set aside some funds which are supposed to go into this kind of activities. Oh, we have not received the funds as yet in our primary schools but we did this we talked to our friends because we want to be ready we don't want our children to come to school then we don't have washing stations we are not ready for them we 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 want to get prepared so i think it is a joint effort from the leaders to the parents the parents should try and facilitate the students to get more masks the schools should try and make sure that the washing washing bays are also available but i think as we have stayed for a whole year it is more detrimental when our students continue staying at home i think it is a high time we bring them back to school then we can learn how to live with covid pia wanaitaka kamati ya bunge la kitaifa kuhusu masuala ya elimu kufanya ziara ya ukaguzi wa taasisi zote za elimu humu nchini ili kubainisha iwapo zimejiandaa kwa ufunguzi nikiripotia darubini ya channel 1 naitwa safin achieng oma